Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyber Roses. In today's video, we will be discussing about the card abandoned or abandoned card. So card abandoned or abandoned card is a situation where the customer may put some of the product in the virtual cart, but they will fail to process with the checkout or they may cancel the checkout process. This error is due to many situations. Sometimes the customers may add the product into the cart just for a comparison price before deciding to buy the product. And if the checkout process is too long and confusing, that also creates a abandoned cart. And if the um, customer may found that during checkout process, it has uh, a huge amount of shipping cost or extra fee, then also it creates the abandoned cart. So let's see how can we manage the abandoned cart in Odoo 17 website module. To manage with the abandoned cart, let's move on to the website module. In the website module, under the e-commerce, we can just manage with the abandoned cart. So we know that abandoned cart is the um, yeah, we, where the customers add the product into the cart, but they may just cancel uh, the items or fail to go through the checkout process. So currently you can see that our cart is empty. So let's fill uh, our cart with some of the products. So let me move on to the shop and let me choose the product such as uh, um, customized uh, desk uh, and we can just continue shopping with other products. So here you would be able to find all the products in the shop where you can choose different items and all. So I just need to add multiple items and uh, I just need to add uh, a chair floor protection also. So later on, uh, we are just not going with the um, checkout process. So instead of that, we can uh, see the items or the uh, product that are added into the cart or abandoned. So let me add different items. Here you can see, you can just add different items and we can just continue the shopping so here you would be able to find all the items that is currently added to the cart as we are not going with the checkout process that will be considered as an abandoned cart so under the e-commerce you can see uh, the uh, abandoned cart where you can find all the details that is the um, details over here and uh, the reference number as well as the item that is included over here so uh, due to many reasons uh, there can be abandoned cart because the customers may add the product into the cart for just for a price comparison and to make a better decision while purchasing the item or if the checkout process is too long and confusing that also create an abandoned cart and uh, if it has a greater shipping cost then also the customers may uh, keep the products in uh, the cart for uh, a price drop or a discount or to get a free shipping. So let me add a uh, shipping over here. Let's say this has uh, a 500 kg and uh, uh, we can just change the price over here. So let me set the price of the uh, shipping cost uh, or the uh, yeah shipping fees as um, 250. So it's a huge amount. So the customer just thought of not buying the uh, product right now and that can be considered as under the abandoned cut. So the uh, website administrator just can uh, remind the users with the products in the abandoned cart. So here, as you just drive down under the website here, you would be able to find that we can just send notifications or emails automatically to the uh, customers. Like mail only sent to sign in customers with the items available for the sales order. So you can set a particular time or to send a mail for the customers who have sign into your website and uh, here you can also customize that so under customize abandoned uh, card email here you can see that uh, you would be able to find the content as well as the email configuration and uh, here you can uh, set all the details so let me set the from address uh, would be the company uh, mail uh, from that mail the mail will be going to the customer mail so let me provide the mail over here and uh, uh, to this mail, uh, the customer will be receiving mail. And later on, you can save this. And under the settings, you can see uh, we can set an outgoing mail server. So in order to set the outgoing mail server, let's move on to the um, outgoing mail server where you can find that we have uh, designated an outgoing mail server. So here you can see we have just set the name as well as the connection in encryption, which is SSL TSL. 
and the uh, SMTP server, which is smtp.gmail.com and uh, the SMTP port. Later on, you can also set the company's uh, uh, mail address and password. So I have done a video on uh, the uh, setting of outgoing mail server uh, in Odoo. Uh, so kindly check that video because here we are only giving a brief um, explanation regarding the outgoing mail server. Later on, we can just want the sales module and in the sales module, as you just remove the quotations here, you would be able to find a um, new card over here. So you can see, we can just choose this and uh, um, here you would be able to find all the records and uh, the mail that is sent. So here you can see that a mail is sent to the customer uh, regarding all the product that is included in the abandoned card. So here you can find every details that is done. And if the uh, customer just wish to resume the order, the customer can also resume their order. So as a click on resume order here, you can see the customer can either just go with um, checkout process. So uh, if the customer wish to go with the checkout process, the customer can go likewise or can just uh, go backward. So we know the uh, abandoned card will fail in checkout process. Now let's check the mail that is received for the customer for being abandoned the cart. So let's check that. So here you can see the left items in your cart and uh, it is received from the company's mail and which is in spam. That's why we are just getting an alert for this message because it seems like a little bit dangerous and here you can view the quotations with on other details the items that is included in the cart. So it's very simple to manage with the abandoned cart in Odoo CMT website module. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage the abandoned cart in Odoo CMT. So if you want Odoo customization or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cyprocess as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.